I'm getting dizzy. Okay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. It is Jordi Naomi. We are back. It's been a minute and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what video this is. I don't know, but I'm back. Um, so this is gonna be a little chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not going anywhere, so I don't know why I'm getting ready, but I'm gonna get ready, okay? I have the camera like blocking my mirror, so just bear with me. So um, where have I been? You're probably asking. I think it's been about three weeks or a month, but um, I think, okay, two weeks after I sent the announcement that I'd be doing like weekly videos, if not more than that, um, two weeks after I got a text message from one of my childhood best friends and to say it put me in a little funk, you know? But, um, yeah, it was just bad timing. It's just bad timing. Don't give your friends, don't give your friends bad news while we're fighting a pandemic. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, so I started getting a lot of messages asking if I quit. No, I didn't quit. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here still. I also got a lot of messages complimenting my outfits. Thank you. Like, it's very, my, my taste, is that what it's called? My clothing taste? My, I'm going to call it clothing taste. My clothing taste. Did you see me spit? <sighs> my clothing taste is very airy, super soft or light materials. Think Bruno Mars type of style. Super airy. I'm gonna call it airy. So let me show you. I'm on a rolling chair if you haven't figured that out. See? It's my shirt. It's like you barely have a shirt on. That's that's my thing. And jean shorts. <laughs> that is my clothing style. Super light and airy and jean shorts. And remember, I'm usually in Bahamas, so it works out well with this style, except for when it's cold, because people think of Bahamas and they think of the hot weather, but it gets cold. Maybe not Canadian standard cold, but it gets cold. So eventually you just layer up on this and you're good to go. Anyway, what am I talking about? This isn't anything that has to do with the video. I am sorry. Oh my goodness, my makeup bag is making the prettiest little rainbow on the wall but I will not show you because if I move this camera I will never get it set up right again so let's just start filming so um yes so I was in a little funk but I'm back and I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I made this channel as a way for people to come have something um consistent to watch that would put a smile on their face uplift their mood just add some positivity in some people's lives and so Let's let's just go right back to that. And thank you. I know a lot of you guys were helping me um, with subscriptions. A lot of you guys were getting your friends to subscribe. Thank you. We're trying to get to 100 someday. It's hard to film when everyone's home because everyone's home and it's loud and yeah, I'm the loudest person, but still, they're loud. So, anyway, where was I? There's going to be a lot of where was I's in this video because I didn't plan anything out. We're going winging it style today. And, oh yeah, thank you for the subscriptions. <laughs> thank you. I don't want to give personal shout outs, but I know who the people are that got the majority of their friends. Like, I know, so, I love you. So, um... Where was I? Oh, I said it again. <laughs> so let's start with the get ready with me portion of this video, because right now I've just been talking. But you know, it's been a while since you've heard my voice. So you're welcome. So we're gonna start, we're gonna, 
I'm gonna do a super natural look because like I already told you my secret, We're gonna start with some. Ooh, you already know I'm blind. Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Up. I don't know if that's the name of it, but that's what we're gonna call it. There you go. Can you see? Can you see? I don't think you can see. <laughs> it smells like a spa. There we go. So. I wish this was like a podcast and I had someone sitting here responding to my questions. I'm talking to the camera and no one's responding. Not that I expected anyone to respond, but you know what I mean. So just rub it in, use your fingers, like the tips of your fingers and up and down. And I even go above and do my eyelids because like the thing says, it brightens and deep pops and it actually does work. So just go like that and then you're set. <laughs> the next step um, after eye cream is to moisturize your whole face and this one that I've been using I actually got it at a hotel but it was in one of the more um, like nicer rooms so it came with a whole like bouquet of skincare things it's a really nice hotel room and this is one of the things that they gave me it's called a fresh air lotion with goat milk and when I tell you that it hydrates it hydrates, it's amazing. It says Beekman 1802. I guess anything that was started in the 1800s and still I'm holding in my hand in 2020, you know that's good. So let me show you, let me see if this time you can see. There you go, there you go. So, <laughs> put a, um, a little bit because you actually don't need that much because it's so good. Thank you to whoever invented this. It's amazing, it smells good. Mm, goat milk smells. <laughs> so for this you're also supposed to use your fingertips but realistically I don't so so how have you guys been keeping busy during this quarantining season I know I asked on snapchat a lot of people have been cooking trying new recipes working out it's a big thing next what we have let me think this is a natural look should we do foundation or no the thing is, I don't even think I have a color for this face right now. I haven't seen any sun in a while. <laughs> this is my current foundation, which looks the same in, on camera, but it's not. It's it's really dark. It's the Burberry Deep Brown number 66, and then I have NARS Medium Dark 4 Sheer Glow, and I think I would need to like mix this with my concealer for it to work. We're gonna say no to foundation. Moving onwards, we're gonna do concealer. So I have the NARS um, Caramel. Caramel, they're all caramel. I just don't know which one is the one that has foundation in it. Let me just draw some lines. Super easy, super relaxed. Super easy. We're gonna do one down the middle. We're gonna do a little bit right here. We're gonna do a little bit right here. And any um, imperfections or pimples that you wanna cover, now is the chance. Um, you can see that I'm actually breaking out a little bit. Um, but that's life. <laughs> That's life. No, I think it's because of the stress. <laughs> For the con concealer that I put along here, also you can bring it up over your eyes and when you put concealer over here, it actually brightens it even more. It makes you look more awake. And if you're like me and you haven't slept in the last three weeks, you need it, you know? So cover up here, right along here, not on your eyebrows, but just under and it helps you look more awake. So, just like that, I almost forgot all of this. Okay, so when you're done blending that all out, just make sure you didn't forget anything. This is like the best time during this quarantine to practice any makeup looks that you've been wanting to try or that you don't think you're good enough for because firstly, no one's gonna see them except for your family. And you can like, 
practice enough to be able to do it for when this is over you can like show the world like yeah look at me you know <laughs> let's move on for a, a natural look i'm just gonna go to the eyeshadow now and what i used to do more often is just take my bronzing powder and use that as the eyeshadow because it would just tie in the look all together and some people have opinions against that which is fine because i'm not a beauty guru and i'm not a person specialized in skincare so <laughs> that's fine but for me i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna use the bobbi brown bronzing powder someone made fun of me that it, i keep my um products in the box still but it just helps with organization i don't know leave me alone so we're gonna use deep brown and i'm just gonna find a brush a brush okay and i'm gonna make it super chill super simple right over so I keep getting notifications. I should have posted my picture after this video. Okay, so just like that, I just use the bronzing powder and then I take the Jaclyn Hill palette. <laughs> just hit myself. I take the Jaclyn Hill palette, go one, two, three, four, down this one, go down to the right. <laughs> I hesitated. This one and then this one. So I. Don't ask me why. That's just what's worked for me for a natural look. And yeah, another message that I've got was um, if I'm doing summer school and I am doing uh, the spring summer semester of school because I'm bored. <laughs> I think in the Q&A someone asked and I was like, oh, maybe if I'm bored. Yeah, I'm bored. So I'm doing three courses, I think, as well as one of the courses in the fall semester that I'm supposed to be doing, but I figured it might be easier to do it online because then I can like take my time to learn and it's uh, managerial accounting, which I did have trouble with the um, accounting one for the first, the second semester, which is a little hard, but I feel like um, if I do it in the summer, I'll have more time to figure it out. So that's what you're doing. If you're like me and you don't mind online school and you don't know what to do with your time, look into some online summer courses because it really just puts you ahead for when schools do reopen. We're going to go in with some actual bronzing powder on your face and I'm gonna go with the Bobbi Brown. The other one I use is the um, Annabelle one, but not today. I'm gonna just blend that in. Blend, blend, blend. So, how I do it is I go like this, and then where you see the line, because there's usually a line when you do it like that, just go above. And unlike contour, you can actually put it up on your cheeks a little bit too, like this. You just do it based on the shape of your face, based on your the way you like it. It's all opinion based, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion, it's all opinion based. So I know some people that absolutely love this powder and they'll just put like a ton of it. But if it still looks good, then it's good. We're going for a more natural look. And this has a red undertone, like the eyeshadow. And so I, you can actually go up and over your nose because it gives you like a sun kiss look or you can just keep it on your cheeks and your forehead. It's up to you. It really does give you that sun-kissed look, which I love, even though I happen to be stuck in Canada during this quarantine. A lot of you are asking, why don't you just go to Bahamas? Why didn't you go to Bahamas in the beginning? By the time we realized what, like, by the time like it became like lockdowns and stuff, the border was already closed, so. That's why a lot of people were saying, you would have had so many more vlogs, but I'm sorry, I'm here. <laughs> I'm in Canada. We still get some nice vlogs here. Another question I got was, um, let me read it. And they're basically asking if I have any tips or advice on how to stay productive during this quarantine, because a lot of people have been sleeping in till the late afternoon and just not 
doing anything and then you feel bad about yourself because you haven't, firstly, there's no need to feel bad about yourself for sleeping in during times like this. It's a lot of stress that's happening. A lot of people are having a hard time and so there's nothing wrong with sleeping. There's nothing wrong with being in your bed. There's nothing wrong with not working out. You don't have to be chugging it, chugging a bunch of water every day. Like, don't make it any harder on yourself because influencers and people on the internet are basically bragging about them pretending to be healthy. Don't put that on yourself. If you want to stay in bed for the day, stay in bed for the day. Don't be sucked into that whole idea that you have to work out because we're under quarantine. It's not that, no. But some advice that I do have for if you really do want to stay productive or if you are like me and you have school still or throughout the summer, um, one thing that you can do is what we're doing right now, just getting ready really helps. When you're out of your pajamas, you put on a shirt, you put on some um, attention to your skin, you did your hair, it really does tell your mind well, in your head, like, okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get ready because we're gonna have things to do. So that's my little piece of advice. Have a schedule routine and in it, you know, even if you did a little glam in the morning, you can soak in the bathtub in the evening. There's balance. And so if you want to stay productive, just keep 50-50, take caring of, take, take care of, taking, taking care of yourself and listening to your body at the same time. Yeah, I don't know why I go like this after everything I say, and I'm sorry. For now, we're gonna go in with some blush, and I don't have any more blush. <laughs> so, I I have pink, dark, dark pink, strawberry flavored lip gloss, and I have the e.l.f. Razzle Dazzle Red Lipstick, and I'm just gonna use it as, I'm gonna use it as blush, because who's gonna stop me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah for for the when you do run out of blush and you do this DIY DIY whoa little <laughs> my IQ just went whoop <laughs> no when you do run out of blush and you use lip gloss or lipstick firstly make sure to use one that is from not just the brands, but look at ingredients because it's super important because you're it's meant for lips and you just put on your skin, especially your face, which is a super sensitive part of your body. So it's really important to check ingredients as well as how much you're gonna put on, how much um, of the product you're gonna put on. Use your fingers and just go in a circle as you smile. So step one, look my fingers. Step one, smile, and then go in a circle along. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jamie. I'm Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie and Jordy. Let me just spray real quick. I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Shoppers Drug Mart. Mm -hmm. Another tip or advice for this quarantine, if you're feeling super down in the dumps of despair, then what you can do is start a list. You can do it on the notes app or have a piece of paper or like a notebook, but start a list of things you wanna do after the quarantine. So I have one, it's called post quarantine and it is amazing. When I tell you I'm excited cause it's an amazing list. So right now I'm just doing a little bit of mascara, trying to in the camera. I don't know what you guys can see, but this is what we're doing. And a little bird. There are animals on my photography page. Link below. Link below. <laughs> what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal? Ooh. My favorite animal is... Oh my goodness. I don't know. A dog? <laughs> Those boring animals. <laughs> This is Jamie's drawing. Another thing, people are doing a lot of art during this quarantine, because you have time. Jamie drew us with his with a pen? Uh, yeah. Ooh, she drew Boom. a giraffe. Boom. It's really nice, right? So guys, we're coming to the end of this natural makeup look. As you can see, 
it's basically just to enhance what you got. So for me, I just do lashes, bronzer, blush. Those are the main ones. Oh, concealer, goodness. How could I forget that? <laughs> so the sun is coming in here and making some cool shadows. <laughs> look at this, look at this you like. <gasps> anyway, so I'm gonna be putting out a couple of videos in the next couple of weeks because of the break that I took. Once again, I am so sorry. I just put Vaseline on if you're wondering. Um, the last thing for your look is lipstick or lip gloss. Um, but if you're wanting to stick with a super natural look still, I suggest getting a lipstick that enhances your natural color, which I have for me is the L'Oreal JLo collection. And is there a color? Here it is, 370 Jennifer's Nude. That's the color. And it is the exact color of my natural lip. So to enhance, because natural makeup is all about enhancing what you have. And, um, Jamie's in here. This is the room with a little library, so <laughs> there's books. Um, yeah, just put on some natural lipstick and you've got your whole look together. Because I am extra, I will be putting on lip gloss because who's gonna stop me? Yeah, that's, that's not. You can't. It's just, it's so Put it back. So, a library that you cannot steal books from. <laughs> you read it in here. So, this is the end of the look. Thank you for chitty chatting with me. <laughs> chitty chitty bang bang. Is that a movie? That's a movie, right? It is a movie. It's a weird. No, I don't remember it, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. But. That was that. I'm gonna be putting out a lot of videos, so turn on that post notification button, wherever it may be. Um, I find a lot of people watch my videos with full screen, so when you zoom out the notification buttons, um, if you don't have Instagram, so then you'll know. Speaking of Instagram, mine is on the screen, along with the photography count. So both of them are public, so feel free to just glance if you don't wanna follow, that's okay. It is all up to you. And last but, not, but never not least, wow. <laughs> last but not least, give me a subscribe so we can grow this family even bigger. More of you will equal the more videos I can put out because that will mean more suggestions. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want someone to talk to, my DMs are always, always open to anybody and everybody. And I am so excited and happy to be back on YouTube. So let's let's end it here. But thank you for tuning in. Best wishes to everyone. Please stay safe. Please stay home. Once again, just because I know this is a hard time for people, DMs are always, always open. Okay, love you.